Welcome and hello, my beautiful Aries. This is your mid-March reading. This is your reading for mid-March. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What messages do we have for beautiful Aries? How are you? If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit the like and subscribe button if you like what you're watching. That would mean a lot to me. Oh, this card wants to jump straight out. So let's get that card. How has the March energy been for you? I would love to know in comments. I hope you're keeping well. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oh, beautiful Aries. This is for the middle of March. What guidance is there for Aries? Okay. Oh, we've got the seven of Michael. I will go to ooh, two sevens. What is going on? What is going on, Aries? What is going on? So the first card we have here is the seven of Michael. So the seven of Michael is, it's, it's talking about the seven of swords in a typical deck. I will just read through the message here. So there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review the details. So those of you that are working alone or working for yourself, it may be time to perhaps get some help, delegate, or if you're an entrepreneur, or if you're someone um, that is looking for a job and uh, you were thinking of doing something on your own, perhaps it's time to go back into the workforce, work with other people. Perhaps you need to be inspired. Here in this card, I can see Archangel Michael and one will ignite and inspire you. I will clarify. Next to that, we have the Seven of Raphael. So the Seven of Raphael is the Seven of Cups. That is all about having lots of options, typically in the um, Rider White deck. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for de detoxification. So I feel that some of you may have too many options. With the You've got two sevens now in, in your reading. So it's about making a decision. It's about not getting too caught up in the confusion and staying stuck. It's about moving out of that stuck, stand, stuck and stagnant energy. So if you're feeling that you're not motivated, if you're feeling that you are lacking the energy, if you feel like you're lacking the inspiration, it's perhaps that you are in a state of confusion. And what these two sevens are saying, it's time to get that clarity. It's, a, it's time to draw that line in the sand and <laughs> make a decision. Then you have the beautiful Ace of Ariel, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So it is about new ventures, promotion, new jobs for some of you if you're looking for a job. Very ties in very nicely with the Seven of Michael where it's saying better course of action available, working alone. So it may be a case that you are looking for another job or you're looking to start a new project. So the Ace of Ariel, here the message is, it's your lucky day new resources of money, time or support, a change in job or a promotion. So maybe it's a case of changing your perspective. Maybe it's a case of um, you thinking that, oh, will I be able to hire help? Will I be able to delegate? Do I have the resources? Well, the Ace of Ariel is saying, yes, you will have the resources. And in fact, it will free you up to get out of confusion and get more clarity. Then we have the Five of Raphael, which is the Five of Cups. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So some of you, if you have been feeling stuck or if you have felt like you're at loss and you're focusing on the loss, this card is saying don't focus on the loss. In fact, change and shift your focus to the opportunities and happiness that await you because there is happiness. You are focusing on what has been lost, but you're not focusing on what is available. And staying stuck in regret is not releasing and not giving you the insight that you seek. So let's clarify these cards further for you, my dear beautiful Aries. So let's clarify the Seven of Michael. Ooh. So Seven of Michael has been clarified where the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is fresh, new um, energy. And Eight of Wands is, this is happening very quickly. You can see that the Wands are coming very, very quickly. So this is something that is going to happen 
it, it will just perhaps take you by surprise in terms of how quickly this happens and how quickly things progress. So if you have been feeling like, oh, you know, about working alone or looking for a job, I feel like for a lot of you, this is to do with a financial or business situation and decision, whether it's something that you are looking to venture on your own, work for yourself or about hiring help, you're wondering whether you'll be able to pay them. Well, looks like you will be getting fresh new inspiration. Perhaps you might be able to um, get a loan or get crowdfunding. I don't know why that has come up. That's very, very specific. It may not resonate with any everybody. Um, the other thing I've got is perhaps it's different way, way of working. Perhaps it's going into not full-time position, a part-time position, if particularly if you have another business that you're running and you're wondering whether you have the time to do both. So there is something happening and it's going to happen so quickly and it will just be this light bulb moment is what I'm getting. Let's clarify the seven of Raphael. So the seven of Raphael has been clarified with the seven of swords. Now this is really interesting because you do have the seven of um, Michael, which is the seven of swords. So you now have two swords. Let's clarify this further. So it's about watching your back. It's about watching your back, but this also gives me the sense that it's time to leave this situation behind. If you felt that you could not trust before or there are, there are people that you can't really rely on or not, not trustworthy, it's time to leave that behind and move forward because you've been in that energy for a while and it is not moving you forward. Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. Yes, so we've got the two of cups. We've got two cards that have popped up. We've got the two of cups and we've got the six of pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, this could be to do with a friendship or a relationship. And in some cases, I think this is a romantic relationship just with the two of cups energy. I feel like in the past that you felt um, with the five of swords, with the seven of swords, um, you've had you've had this imbalance it it's you feel like you are the one always giving 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 and you're not you're not getting a, in return so what is coming up is that you're coming out of the situation and cycle it's time to leave that cycle behind the seven of swords behind it's time because you've you will be attracting soul aligned friendships and love into your life and that will be of equal give and take you and you will have more than enough to give as well you'll be able you will have enough to share your resources but here it's about balance this card is very much about balance and you will be attracting balance if if in the past you were doing all the giving that is about to change now there will be more balance let's clarify that um two of cups i'm just curious to see what this two of cups energy is about what is this two of cups so the two of cups to me, this is someone who has closed their heart. So the moment you open your heart, new friendships and relationships will be coming your way. So this here, she has her heart closed. She cannot attract new love unless new love or new relationship unless those swords come down. So it's about making a decision. It's about making a decision of moving away from the past. The past situation, the seven of swords situation did not serve you. It's time to have those carry the five swords that you have and move forward move forward and um, there is love and new connections awaiting what is this ace of ariel let's let's clarify this ace of ariel three cards want to pop out let's see what's going on here so <laughs> we have the page of wands so as I said earlier, I think a lot of you, for a lot of you, this is to do with a job or financial situation. This is about a new offer. You are going to be getting something that will, if, if you have been waiting for a job or if you have been waiting for some news in relation to getting your offer accepted or if I'm also getting that some of you are, if you, you know, waiting for a response on a proposal or a tender, this is saying that keep going, don't give up because that's just, around the corner because what's next it doesn't get better than this the empress card here you you are lush you will be provided for you have abundance and prosperity surrounding you so the moment you make that decision you leave the past behind you're opening yourself up to the empress energy 
the Empress energy is all encompassing. She has house, home, luxury. She she is luxurious. She is abundant. She has all the resources that she needs. She she is well and truly provided for. And if that didn't get any better, you've got the King of Pentacles. I mean, this is the ultimate wealth, abundance, and prosperity card. So the ultimate abundance, prosperity, and money flow is awaiting you. What needs to happen is you letting go of what is not serving you, opening your heart up, open your heart up to new love, new, new opportunities. The moment the, you let your guard down, the blindfold will release. You will make a decision and you're ready to open yourself up to love, to new job offers, to new business opportunities, creative ideas, and the list is endless. So really, really focus on that because you do have the king of pentacles. This is the ultimate, like if you are worried about money and finances, well, the wheels are about to turn and Aries, your birth this at the end of the month we move into the airy season it's your birthday season your birthday season is coming up so happy birthday for those that um, are born in March and um, happy birthday to you the wheels are turning things will change it's changing for the better let's clarify the five of Raphael what is this five of Raphael for Aries please so the five of Raphael, this is clar clarified by the four of cups. So there is something coming behind you, which you can't see. If you're feeling stuck and if you're feeling at loss, don't, don't focus on loss and regret. It's, it's anchoring, it's echoing the same message as the five of Raphael. It's time to release. It's time to, to get out of that stuck state. Let's clarify this four of cups and let's see what further guided. Yes. The sun, there is something new coming. There is something new coming for some of you with the Empress card and the Sun card. It might be pregnancy. It might be um, building a home together with somebody. It might be marriage and starting a family for some of you. And for some of you, it is literally a rebirth, a time to rebirth, time to have new beginnings, time to transition out of the old time to get feel the warmth of the sun and the vibrant energy that surrounds the sun and bring that into your life the joy the happiness i mean you've got the king of pentacles you've got the sun card you've got the eight of wands this reading is you've got the ace of ariel the ace of pentacles if you are worried about finances again i'm not giving financial advice but based on the energy of the cards this this second half of the month the wheels are turning wealth and prosperity is and abundance is coming your way it's about opening your heart and following the truths that your heart is sharing with you because a happy vibrant month or the end of month is coming your way and of course it is the airy season as we as we transition towards the end of march we are moving into the airy season and it is your season so this is your time to shine this is the time to really embrace the beginnings, the wealth, the prosperity that's coming your way. What a beautiful rating. What a beautiful rating. So I'm going to get a um, Oracle card to see what else is coming out for you. If you do like this reading, please do hit the like and subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. And it also lets me know that this is the type of content that you would like to see more of. So the card that has come up here for your message is ready to love again. For those of you that have come to an end of a cycle romantically and moving, moving into loving yourself, this message says ready to love again. You've healed from, from the past e enough to open your heart to new love. I love this for you. I really do. So if you are feeling still that remnants of the two of swords energy, open your heart, open your heart, be ready to love because love awaits there's a new beginning there is there is new relationships and connections not just romantic even friendships that are coming your way this is very beautiful aries thank you for joining me i really appreciate you and i will see you next time